Hey guys, uh, it's a little bit early, uh, sorry to wake ya. It's like, what, 7.30 where I am right now, and I woke up like an hour ago, and I was like, not in the mood to make a video, but I gotta give you all what you want. So in today's What If, um, so yeah, just wait, and I, well, as you can tell by the title, you already know what it is, uh, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with a friend, if you're already subscribed, and turn on that post bell to be notified, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, It'll be uh, right here somewhere at Ryan 2005 And yeah, enjoy the video. What if events went differently? What if Vulture was in Spider-Man 3? So, hey guys, sorry if I'm not going to be very energetic in this video. Because I literally just woke up like 30 minutes ago like you saw in the beginning. So, let's just get right into the what if. And most of it is just get to where we get to the good parts. So... Let's just get right into the what if. So, Spider-Man 3 will be going out as planned, but, you know, no symbiote, you know, no symbiote suit and whatnot. Because, I don't know if you guys know, in the original script for Spider-Man 3, um, it was uh, Harry Osborn's Green Goblin, Sandman, and the Vulture. So, you would have basically this script going on, you know, and, and you know, and you know that scene where uh, Spider-Man, uh, you know, um, uh, beats Sandman, but... He doesn't need the symbiote in this timeline, you know, he uses all of his strength, you know, to kick Sandman's ass, and yeah, so the re so how I would bring Vulture in is, you know that scene where uh, Sandman is running from the cops, you know, during the prison break, well, Vulture would be flying by his side and say, see you later, Marco, and say, see you later, um, Toons, and, uh, Flint Marco, of course, would go in the, in you know, would be, uh, you know, would disintegrate in, like, an original timeline, you know, he becomes Sandman, pretty much the movie will be going out as planned, but, of course, Vulture's not in it, and Harry, you know, Harry Osborn still doesn't believe that Spider-Man, you know, Harry, that Harry killed his father, you know, he still believes that, but, of course, that's not true, you know, because Mr. Osborn killed himself, so during the final battle, you know, um, uh, um, say Vulture has Mary Jane, right? Kind of like, you know, original timeline, but, you know, Venom's not there. So, you know, Vulture's dangling Mary Jane, and Peter would say, Tombs, no. And, you know, he he would drop her, and we see in slow motion as Spider-Man grabs her just in the nick of time before MJ hits her off the ground. Yeah, you thought I was going for another Gwen Stacy death. <laughs> nope. But, so, yeah. And Harry would show up realizing, you know, because, you know, because Ber Bernard, you know, would tell Harry, you know, like what really happened that night, you know, uh, you know, that day when, uh, you know, uh, his dad, you know, Her you know, Norman Osborn, you know, Green Goblin killed himself. So Harry would show up and pretty much the final battle would be going out as planned. But instead of Venom, you know, it's Vulture. So the way Spider-Man would defeat Vulture is is. Spider-Man quickly webs the vulture before he can get away and he yanks him down to the ground. You know, and they're, they're on the top, you know, they're on the top of the construction site where you literally can, like, fall to your death and whatnot. So, and then Spider-Man uses all of his strength to rip one of the wings off. And Spider-Man uses his webs and brings himself forward and kicks the vulture off of the, um, off of, uh, you know, uh, um... The, uh, you know, the, the top of the construction site, and Harry would catch him, and, you know, he would bring Vulture, you know, to, to justice, and, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it, so, anyway, guys, what do you think about that, what if, you know, like, what if Vulture was in Spider-Man 3, I thought about it for a while, giving, you know, that the original script for the movie was the Vulture instead of Venom, and I think this definitely should have been the conclusion, but, of course, I love Spider-Man 3, to this day, I still watch it, like, every single day, and, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time, also, before I go, I want to thank you guys so much for being with me all these past couple years, because I don't know where I could have been without you guys, and I just want to thank you guys so much for being with me all these years. Uh, July, this July is going to be my fourth anniversary. No, actually, so I started in 2016. My fifth anniversary on YouTube. So yeah, guys, wish me happy anniversary, and don't forget, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and if you already subscribed, share this. And if you already subscribed, share this video with a friend. 
and turn on that post bell once you subscribe to be keep up to date with all my latest videos and don't forget to follow me on instagram at raw 2005 it's uh in the beginning of the video so yeah follow me on there and yeah see you guys later peace